So I'm here with Ash Mammal, who are uh, playing the Academy One stage at half past six at Handmade Festival. So guys, I need to ask straight off the bat about the name. Where did that come from? Oh wow. That's <laughs> the first question. It is always the first question. And you know what? We don't know. Just just appeared. I guess that happens when we call things a really stupid name. <laughs> we were looking for all these old Tibetan books when we we're trying to think of a name and there's there's men with skin. It's five men, five men with skin. Five men with skin. That was almost the band name, but there's not five of us. Yeah. What and was it? Of skin. There was a great Buddhist monk called the Great Kumba, <laughs> and we were almost called that as well. Yeah. That would be amazing. Um, okay, so speaking of the music, um, let's talk about your process of you writing the music and creating the music itself. Um, it's really quite all, all in at once. Mm. Everyone, like, there might be a little idea that one of us has come up with them individually, and then mash. Yeah, we try and do it as equal as possible, so we'll also bring a riff in, and then we'll be like, oh, that's really cool, let's just write something like around it, or someone will have a vocal melody. We have like old songs like sitting around that we mash together to create like these new beautiful Frankenstein monsters. It's yeah. basically what like a lot of new stuff is right now. There's never too many cooks in the kitchen. Okay, so <laughs> um, when when was your first gig? When did you when did you guys first get on the scene? When did you guys meet? We we've known each other since we were kids. Uh, me and George at least, and, and Stan as well. And, we sort of formed at this art class when we just, we'd been through so many projects. Me and George used to like write comic books and we tried yeah. films and all sorts of stuff. And so music was just like the next thing we kind of moved on to and this just kind of stuck because we've enjoyed it the most, I guess. Yeah. Um, so I've just grown up and like, none of us knew how to play any of the instruments or anything. We just thought, oh, we, still don't really. we should just totally start a band. We should totally just do that. Um, and then we've just learned off each other and it's developed into well, Stan had been, you'd drum for Hairspray. I drum for production of Hairspray. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, oh, Stan can drum. So <laughs> that, yeah. that's, then you became a drummer. <laughs> and then, geez, I don't even know where you came from. The ground. Yeah, that's dug you out. Up. I feel like we need to talk about that. So I can't play bass. <laughs> <laughs> Still okay, so, um, Handmade. Uh, is this a big step up for you guys? Is yeah. This, uh, well, we step played. down. <laughs> no, it's a step to the left. We, we played last year, but we didn't play. We played on the um, Queen's Hall. Yes, Queen's Hall. Um, and then we played at Album Launch at this venue, and now we're playing like again this mm. year, and it's so nice. Cause it's really like such an honour because watching this develop from like the first year where it was just a couple of venues around Leicester, and now it's really become like this. Like staple in Leicester and yeah, in the wider. It's also kind of been like a part of that through it. So we played like is this a just a second year we played? Third. It's third. a third year. Yeah. Scholars Bar, Queens Hall, this one. Yeah, so it's been like gradual. Yeah, it's been just yeah, real special watching it all grow and stuff. It's like Still no rider though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Cabbage got a rider. Yeah. You see that rider? They got a. Uh, uh, apples, yeah, and they got ham and a baguette. <laughs> I'd kill for an apple. Yeah, I'd kill them. And I just apple. asked some waters now. I wasn't even allowed a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep you dry for the plane. <laughs> 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 Trying to dry me out. <laughs> okay, so um, the Leicester music scene. Um, would you say it's growing? Would you say it's 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 doing well? And it's definitely grown. It's better than it's ever been. Yes, yep. definitely. Yeah. Um, we, yeah. I guess we. Because um, we've been playing since we were like 14, so we've like seen it develop so much in like five or six years. Um, um, at the start we didn't have any friends, and everyone hated us, and we hit everyone. And now we only hate some people, we can deal with most of them. So. Yeah. We've got like lots of friends we do. now, like like-minded like bands, and yeah. people just doing a lot more like creative stuff, like uh, just things that are a bit different. I remember like a couple years ago you might just have like some metal bands or whatever that we just the doing the same monkeys cover band yeah, yeah. Nice. now there's only like three of them um, yeah, yeah our, our friends Kermis who played on the stage show a little while ago like we're really great friends with them and then Kodiaski yeah we just had her in actually she's oh, lovely she's really cool so lovely as well 
Okay, um, what's next for you guys? Okay, we just had a recording session down in London at Metropolis Studios, which is like, that was like a different experience. It was crazy and it was apparently the room that like Michael Jackson and Radiohead had recorded in. And, um, so we're just sort of having that mixed and mastered and send that out to some labels and hope for the best. Sounds really cool. Yeah. All right, well, good luck for the future. Thanks. And uh, that's it.